Hi everyone, Vincenzo here with a new ukulele tutorial. This week, let's learn how to play Wind of Change by the Scorpions. This tutorial is a great one to understand how you can learn a song in there, which is a really important aspect of your ukulele journey. In fact, it's better to learn a few songs accurately rather than a lot of songs, but superficially. These are all things that I discuss in my ukulele roadmap, which you can download for free using the link in the description. Anyway, enough with the talking and let's get started. So the chords that you need for Wind of Change are F, D minor, A minor, G, C and E. Only six chords, but there are quite a few changes. There are also some measures of 2-4 instead of the common 4-4 four, four ones. And these are quite interesting. Of course, I'm gonna be explaining them later. Now, as always, let me show you the chord shapes. And of course, if you already know them, simply skip this part. So you have F, D minor, A minor, G, C and E. Let's start working on the intro. The intro is really an iconic part of the song and so I recommend you work on it. But if you just want to learn the verse and the chorus, of course, just skip this part. So the strumming pattern for the intro goes like this. Three, four, down, down, up, up, down, down. One more time, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, down again. Down, down, up, up, down, down. This is the chord progression. Here you need to pay attention to two things. So, first of all, there is a measure where you have two chords that last for two beats each. So that means you're gonna be playing two chords within one strumming pattern. Nothing major, but let me show you how it sounds. Three, four, D minor. A minor. Let's do it one more time. Three, four, D minor, A minor. Then the last chord of the intro, the G, the one in red, lasts for only two beats. This is because here you have a two, four measure instead of a four, four, one. So you just need to strum G down twice like this. G, G and then you're ready to change to the next chord. Now, let me play the entire intro for you. Three, four, F, D minor, F, D minor, A minor, D minor, A minor, G. By the way, let me know in the comments if you would like a tutorial on the melody that they play during the intro. Now, let's work on the verse. The strumming pattern for the verse goes like this. Three, four. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down. One more time. Three, four. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down. This is the chord progression. You can use the strumming pattern you've just learned for all of it. However, my suggestion is that when you have two chords within one measure, you strum down twice for each chord. You know, like this, D minor, A minor. Then, in the first verse, each G lasts for two beats. And so, again, all you have to do is strum down twice, like that. Now, let me play the entire verse so that you understand better how it works. Three, four, C. D minor. C. D minor. A minor. G. Back to C. D minor. C. After this, you go back to the intro again, and then you have the second verse. So far, you still haven't reached the chorus, not a very common structure, especially for today's music. 
Anyway, in the second verse, the last G lasts for four beats. So you just need to strum down four times instead of two. This is something to bear in mind if you want to play the song as it is on the record. Now let's work on the chorus. The strumming pattern for the chorus is the same as the intro and so it goes like this, three, four, down, down, up, up, down, down, again, three, four, down, down, up, up, down, down. This is the chord progression. As you can see, each chord will last for two beats apart from the last G. And so you have to play two chords within one strumming pattern, like this, three, four, C, G, D minor, G, and so on and so on. Now, let's follow the chord progression and let's play the entire chorus. Three, four, C, G, D minor, G, and C, G, D minor, G, A minor, One thing to notice, at the end of the first chorus, you have two extra measures of C major. For this, just use the same strumming pattern you used for the chorus. So once you know the intro, the verse and the chorus, you know pretty much the entire song. But if you want to play it all, you're missing the bridge and the guitar solo. This is the chord progression for both parts. Here, you can just use the main strumming pattern you used in the verse. Or, if you want, you can work out your own strumming pattern. Check out this video to learn how to do that. Now, let me play this section for you. Three, four, A minor. G. A minor. G. C. After the guitar solo ends, there's another chorus which has an extra G major at the end. After that, you have the outro which is basically the same as the intro. So, now you know the entire song and this is the structure, by the way. As you have seen, there are a lot of small variations in this song which, in my opinion, make the song a really interesting one. What I suggest you do is that you play together with the backing track and really nail it from the beginning to the end. This will be a great exercise for you. Now let's have a play along. I'm going to be playing the intro, the second verse, the second chorus and the bridge. And then you can decide how to arrange your own cover of Wind of Change. The tempo of the play along is going to be 76 BPM, which is the tempo of the song in the original record. Having said that, get ready, you're about to start playing.
The aim of this tutorial was to give you an overview of window change and at the same time show you how you can approach in detail a song that you want to cover. I decided to work on this song specifically this week because the 3rd of October is the day that commemorates the German reunification that happened in 1990. And as you might know, I live in Germany. Window change was written at the end of the Cold War and it's associated with everything that was happening at that time. On my Patreon page, you can find the chord chart and the backing tracks that you need for practicing this song. You have three backing tracks, one at the original tempo, one slower and another one even slower. And don't forget that if you learned something from this video and you would like to say thank you, you can buy me a coffee, link in the description. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments if you managed to learn this song. And by the way, if you wanna take your playing to the next level, download my free a step roadmap, link in the description, that will tell you the exact process I followed to learn the ukulele. Moreover, check out the links in the description to learn more about the types of classes that are available at the moment. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new tutorials. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!